Dear Diary, it's sort of a funny story. A few months ago, I met Jack. So it lasted six hours. What lasted six hours? A puppet show that Auntie Bridge went to. Still a lot I don't know about him. Well, how much do you need to know? He has a pretty nice sized puppet. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next week... Give her a little kiss, you know, on the forehead there. Uh, I was talking about the baby. Mark, my ex and I had similar relations. Mr. Darcy. But I can't go back and keep making same mistakes. I'm pregnant <laughs> when I can make new ones. So you have no idea which of us is the father? Surely one of those dates is more likely. I can do it better, you know, I can do it better. They're both equally likely. So do bring along the father if you can work out which one he is. <laughs> For better or worse, fate has brought us together. Both of you, stop it. Brought you a nice tea. Thank you. I brought you a super juice. Oh. Let me carry that for you. Thank you. Can I carry your phone? Bridget, who do you want to be the father? It's like the final of the X Factor. Dial zero one if you wanted to be Mark, and zero two if you wanted to be Jack. <laughs> in my mind, I'm riding around a car. Are you in love with him? I have been. In the past. And me? I could be. <laughs> One day. How do you orchestrate such cliffhangers in your life? Darling, hold my hand. This is not how I thought this would be. But however we choose to do this, the most important thing is that baby. <gasps> Seen. Good God, Bridget, you're immense. This is a two-man job. Please, don't drop her. Which of you is the father? I am. I am. Right. And who do we have here? I'm Bridget, and this is Jack, and this is Mark. Lovely. You're our second same-sex couple today. <laughs> <laughs>